Today on The Dish, we transport you to Latin America. Born in Spain, Chef Felipe Donnelly brings you along on a culinary journey, pulling inspiration from his childhood travels throughout South America and Mexico. He now has three restaurants in New York City, the James Beard Award-nominated Colonia Verde in Fort Greene, Disco Tacos in Williamsburg, and now Komodo in the Flatiron, which is where I shared a meal with him. Born in Spain and growing up in Mexico and Brazil, Felipe Donnelly was never far from savory spices and rich flavors. Una tostada con extra tostadas a tres orden, tres unidades y un mac and cheese. Donnelly is the owner and chef of Komodo in New York City, his third restaurant, but his first inside a hotel, the Freehand. Here, there's 400 rooms above us, so there's definitely a lot of a lot of judges. <laughs> the Latin-infused menu ranges from wild mushroom al aillo tacos to lamb sliders. These little guys are made with pão de queijo, so it's a Brazilian cheese bread. It is gluten-free, it's made with tapioca flour, and it is a little lamb meatball in the center. And the chipotle dipping sauce, a little creamy chipotle sauce to really help break in the... So do I just dip this in? Just dip it in. All right, so I dip it in. And I love a slider because they're small and you can eat them all. Yes. And you don't feel guilty. <laughs> mm. The lamb has cranberries and mm. marjoram. It's, it's really special. His parents, a banker and family therapist, traveled with Donnelly around the world. He credits an international childhood for his culinary success. Flavors of all these countries have just been a part of, of who I am. Kind of the one gift that I really received from all of these different countries. Were your parents great cooks? I could not say that my parents were great cooks. <laughs> uh, my, my parents were many things great, but cooking was not one of their fortes. The one thing my parents gave me was the, the palate, the flavors, the ability to learn how to taste. That taste fell flat years later during his college years in the United States. That was the moment that everything changed. Cultural shock? Cultural shock. Like American cafeteria food for my first time was, <laughs> I just didn't understand what was happening. Like, why is there no flavor in this? What were you missing? <laughs> I was missing everything. The search for flavor sparked a creative culinary journey with his wife Tammy when they started a supper club in their home. We started off with friends. We started running out of friends to invite. And then we started inviting random people from Twitter uh, oh, wow. and Facebook. So we started bringing strangers into our house and I started cooking for them and that basically blew up. The supper club led to opening neighborhood restaurants in New York City, attracting diners with unique dishes like this vegan delicata squash mojeca. It's my take on a very classic dish from Bahia, from the northeast of Brazil. So it's made with using uh, coconut milk, dende oil, which is palm tree oil, and we have some pickled peppers and some popped wheat berries. You know, just a nice mix of little flavors in there. Mm, sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the coconut milk really the comes out. It's really present. To a classic Brazilian cut pecana steak with salted potatoes. A blended chimichurri, a salsa roja, aioli that goes with the salted potatoes. This is a dish that has Brazil, it's got a little Argentina, it's got Mexico, and then Colombia. So it's is this your childhood right it's, here? Everything is here. <laughs> <laughs> also on the table, a staple of Colonia Verde is a chiote chicken with brown butter served with calispera rice, shrimp and aijo made with paprika, garlic butter. I'm more of a, a finger guy, just like Just get in dig there. in. It's just like you're back down in New Orleans, right? Mm -hmm. What I love about all your dishes, and every dish has a story, and this pasta mm. has a really good story. Yes. What's behind this? In 2012, the Mexican football team won the Olympics. In celebration, we put on the menu a poblano pepper stuffed with ground meat. Okay. Um, a very classic Mexican dish. And we sold zero that night. My chef, Jose, who's been with us for a while, took it. He made some fresh pasta for the night, chopped up the stuffed peppers and threw it in the pasta. And we ate and we're just like, this is absolutely delicious. This dish was born. This needs to be a dish on the menu. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. During the pandemic, another passion of Donnelly's was born, agave spirits. It's something obviously very Mexican, so very mm. in line with uh, the food. And honestly, it plays such a pivotal role in Mexico and in the food 
that we eat in Mexico. And very much like wine, each one provides different flavors. This guy is going to be, uh, it's called a Mexicano. So the agave is Mexicano. And it's going to be a little bit more uh, creamy. Cheers. Just a, just a little sip. Yeah, I'm not taking a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Wow. You can follow that up with a little orange if you okay, want. Okay, yeah, I definitely want to follow that <laughs> one up. That's, that's a kick. <laughs> Moving on to Yola. So last, uh, but definitely not least, uh, Yola is a mezcal also from Oaxaca. This is made from uh, Espadín. Yola is uh, also female owned. I'm getting hot, <laughs> just letting you know. <laughs> it's like the temperature went up in this room a little bit. Mm, that's my favorite. Mm. That's a little lighter. It's definitely a little bit lighter. A little bit lighter. Yeah. I can handle that. I might have a little bit more, but it's the middle of the day. <laughs> Maybe we won't do that. <laughs> and no meal would be complete without dessert. A coconut cake, so it's made with tapioca uh, flour. Uh, it's more of a custard than a cake. Fresh whipped cream, a little bit of lemon zest. Mm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't really eat dessert, but this. This is worth it. This is worth it. No. From the first course through dessert, Donnelly is trying to create an experience for diners where they can escape and savor each bite. Our motto is uh, La comida compartida sabe mejor which means food when shared tastes better. And it's about sitting down, letting go of whatever it is that's troubling you and be able to laugh and be able to be transported somewhere else. And he definitely transports you somewhere else. Now dig into this. I want to see what you think of this. I my had heart. no problem with the coconut cake. I polished it off. Awesome. It looks good. It is Super good. Super moist. And the yeah. tapioca is in there. It's at the bottom. It is. Mm -hmm. Good, right? Mm, and it's light. Mm, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to... Mm, I like that bottom. What did you do to your cake? I destroyed it. You I was it apart. Out, I but it's good. In college, his buddies, they would go out once they learned that he had a talent. They'd shop. He would cook. Can you imagine what a deal in college? Oh, yeah. To have somebody like that cooking for you? 